Hello and welcome to another video. This time I'm here with another great sword. Uh, long sword, I guess, is the generic term, but this one is actually called a great sword, as you can see here. I've got legendary great sword with fire damage, 114 fire damage, sorcerer, which doesn't really matter, and knockback, which that's going to be the main reason I'm trying this one is for the knockback distance. See how that works out. Uh, it's kind of like the shield. I've, I've tested it a little bit. Um, I, I guess it's exactly like the shield where if you two hand it, it will knock the enemy back as long as you hit them and not their weapon. And yeah, it's hopefully going to be pretty cool. I could use the knockback perk as well. Uh, here, wait back here if I use this knockback perk which is this one increases shield knockback but also uh, longsword knockback then the enemies will go flying um, which I'll show real quick right here exactly what happens when you do that in the little training exercise uh, and you know I'll fly them this way but yeah you can see it goes, it goes flying. There goes the enemy. And you know what? That that actually went further than that first hit. I wonder if stabbing for some reason. No? Okay. There he goes. Yeah, well, they go flying with the knockback plus knockback. Uh, however, I only need one knockback. I don't need the exo perk and the weapon perk. Only the weapon perk. So I'm going to go to the critical add 40% chance to increase melee damage by 200%. I think that's better than power increase melee damage by 50%. But uh, I haven't done the math on that. And I would assume because this you get this at a later level that that's better than this uh, overall. And just if you end up uh, hitting something 10 times, what are the chances you do more damage with this? Probably more chances that critical does better but uh, if anyone knows for sure if anyone's done the math on that then uh, let me know otherwise I'm gonna get into it I also have these cool daggers which one is ice one is poison uh, I don't really have to go in depth about that because I probably won't even touch them they just look cool I love this design of the dual blade within the dagger I think there's a sword model for that too but yeah these things cool stuff but I'm going to get right to it, and here we go. Spent a little more time in that outpost than usual, uh, looking at that knockback. But, let's see, those are some fairly big dungeons. I want like a medium to small sized dungeon, maybe this one. That's interesting. I think I'm going to try this one. Not that it's small, but it's kind of just straightforward. Tier 7. Yeah. This might be rough, but I'm going to give it a go. We'll see if I fail or not. Hopefully, I will be ready. Oh, there goes my greatsword. But yeah, let's do it. My battery is low. I don't know if you see that notification in the recording, but that's a thing. All right. And oh, key off the bat and a mimic off the bat. How fun. I, s I said no using the uh, no using the dagger, but then I automatically just threw it because why not? Oh, that's that's kind of strange. Not sure what was going on there, but yeah, this, this is a cool room to start at. You get a key off the bat. I think there's a guaranteed key in this room, uh, which I already got, and uh, there was that chest. So pretty cool stuff. Let me kill some stuff. All right, there we go, got one, and ugh, killed him, ooh, that hurt, do I have, okay, so I have the vitality perk, but I don't have any, oh jeez, wow, I'm getting close, 34, I don't have any uh, potions yet, okay, I got the fire perk too, which, wow, I just activated twice, this is quite the combo, fire and knockback, Pretty sweet stuff. Did that kill him? That killed him. Okay. Ice enemies. Oops. Alright. Kill this guy real quick. And that guy. There we go. Still so weird how ice enemies can take so much 
so much damage and not die immediately. <laughs> oh, come on. Woo. There we go. There goes one body. Getting them good. Woo. Wow. I almost just died there, I think. Let me grab this potion real quick. Got him. Good stuff. And I got him. I think that's it. Yep, no more music. Oh, another key. So, got a key from the dying guy and a key. I think I go left every, uh... Oh, yeah, cool. I got the map, too. So, I don't even have to worry about following what I remember. There we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of knockback, honestly. Because it just pushes the enemy further away from me killing it. However... Whatever, that's fine. Uh, I, I guess it <laughs> probably helps. Knockback helps to for survivability. Um, and actually, what do I have? I got health potions and resurrect, which I don't need. Not the resurrect, but the health potions would be nice. Is are nice. Um, okay, but I got this now. But yeah, so survivability, knockback perk does help because you don't get swarmed by any enemies, you just have to hit them once, and then no more swarm, and it just becomes more of a 1v1 type of thing. Uh-oh. Got some archers. Deal with these guys. Ooh. Accidentally. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Ooh. Come on, let me move. Thank you. Whew. There we go. Am I at 92? I don't think these arrows do too much damage, so it's not a huge deal getting shot. However, if there were melee enemies that came in after this frozen arrow guy, I could be dead pretty quickly and easily. Good thing there were not. And I think the purple guys... So, hmm. I saw my health at 92 when I looked at it. I wonder if the arrows, no matter what uh, rarity the enemy is, I wonder if they always do a certain amount of damage, like 8% damage. <laughs> Definitely curious to know. Okay, this guy. There we go. Got him. 50 health. All these scorpions. Oh. <laughs> Pretty satisfying to knock back that big scorpion and wasp. Got him. Fantastic. There we go. Got the skeleton key too, so put it in the hole. Where am I going? Go straight here. Alright. <laughs> Gotta kill these ice enemies first. Only one ice enemy. Ow. Okay, yeah, see. What? I'm regening health at the speed that they're hurting me. That's kind of kind of busted of me. Okay. Ugh. I think sometimes I can tell oh, when that critical perk happens. Okay, I have 100 health. 92. Yeah, man, these archers just just doesn't matter whether they hit me or not. There we go. <laughs> Kinda crazy. Oh. Yeah, this greatsword is not as long as I would hope. Sometimes I feel like I'm about to hit something, but I just just don't because it's not long enough. Oh. Alright. I don't know why I felt the need to explode that barrel when I was just leaving anyway. But that's something. Something this game does to me. Alright. Here we go. And I just listened to another interview with one of the developers of this game, uh, Ryan Rutherford. He was interviewed by Rough Talk VR, the, this uh, pretty cool VR podcast that I listen to. Um, I highly recommend listening to those particular episodes if you haven't already. Uh, that he's They interviewed uh, Ryan once before. They just did it. I think the um, video is premiering. I probably won't have this episode out by the time it already premiered, so 
once that comes out, um, or once my video comes out, you'll be able to see it anyway. So maybe I'll even include it in the description or something. There we go. Killed that guy. Um, there, nice. But yeah, no, that was a really interesting, um, always interesting to hear the developer's perspective, uh, where they're at, where their head's at for the future of the game and whatnot. But yeah, man, it's satisfying to whack these <laughs> enemies really far. Okay, here we go. I got plenty of keys. Whoa, did that door just automatically open for me? Maybe that was just a coincidence, a weird thing, but I gotta stick my dagger in there. No, I, I think I just pushed it with the key a little bit and then it opened, but <laughs> it felt like it opened automatically for me. That was kind of weird. Okay, but yeah, no, that interview was awesome. Uh, they talk about future of the game, uh, the already amazing progress of the game, and just what it's like from Ryan's perspective as a developer. All right, and one thing I found out about the game that I didn't really know, I mean, I, I might have like inherently knew kind of by accident without uh, like fully knowing, um, consciously know, I think I unconsciously knew that some of the enemies, um, their armor, I, I guess the skeletons, they have randomly generated armor on them. And if you hit them in their armor, they won't take as much damage or they'll completely block the hit, is what it sounded like. Do I have a, oh, just one zombie? Okay, is he dead? He's dead. All right, good stuff. Um, oh, and I heard battery. Let's get this battery, throw it down there. But yeah, so they have weaknesses, apparently. Uh, maybe in Tier 7 they don't, because <laughs> they're kind of just armored up everywhere. And, oof, almost got hit there. Um, yeah, they're practically armored everywhere. Tier 7s. Ooh. There we go. Ugh, ugh. Good. Um, but yeah, in the lower difficulties, I guess there's... <laughs> A lot of spots on them that don't have armor so that's good to know for those people looking for those weak spots to get their fights done kill these guys easier um what am i oh giant scorpion okay i think what shall i do here jump on his back oh i i think i respawned from this yeah <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's not not as easy to jump in my on his back as I thought. But here, let's let me try this again. Okay. Yeah. No. I guess front going from the front is very tough. But man, you can just chill on top of him. This is kind of weird. <laughs> okay. But yeah, if you jump from the side, super easy to just be on top of this guy. Ride him like a cowboy. <laughs> Ugh. Kind of trippy though. That's for sure going around in circles. Why can't I pick up that coin? Okay, whatever. So I gotta go from the angle. Yep. Oh, okay. And if you get right on his tail, I guess, he won't even, won't even move. <laughs> there we go. Easy as pie. <laughs> but man, they, the developer, uh, well, Ryan and the guys, Stratus and, uh, oh man. What are their two names? D Scruffles and Stratus. Uh, and then and Ryan, the Dungeon of the Fraternity developer. In that interview, they talked about um, dungeon assignments and challenges. That was probably my most excited for feature of kind of like save, kind of like save dungeons, but more generated from the developer dungeons of like there's a set dungeon that everybody always has access to and you got to complete these dungeons like maybe there's uh, these save dungeons lined up in a, in a row, but just dungeon assignments of here you got to beat the the golem, here you got to beat the skeleton boss, the scorpion boss, whatever else. 
uh, defeat this guy with only an axe or this guy with, or, or I guess like this dungeon with only axes, this one with only daggers, whatever else. But that the, <laughs> the future of assignments just seems super cool to me and like kind of end game content is, is what I, I see that as. Um, and then dungeon raids is something that they mentioned, but that's like long term. I think he mentioned that that was the hardest thing to do, uh, but that would be sweet to see. Um, and yeah, no, couple other things. PC VR eventually coming on out there. Uh, they're working on that. I guess they didn't confirm that it's going to come out, but they are working on it. And yeah, uh, no, it's just uh, many many excited things that i am definitely excited for oh the social hub that's that's a big thing they're gonna have like a mega lobby instead of just three players in a lobby there's gonna be a big one where you can meet people and then group up and go into your dungeon or just do some like little mini game activities in the outpost kind of like this little shooting combat training that we have but maybe much much more in a big social lobby i think that'll be amazing because right now all we got is the discord to talk to everybody talk to the community and reddit um but having an actual place in the game for that will be beyond amazing um i could probably make a whole video just kind of reacting to that video but i'll leave it at this for now um i hope you enjoyed the knockback fire great sword uh i i thought that that was it's pretty good, pretty sweet. Uh, the dungeon I had wasn't the most difficult because I guess it was just those archers that even though I got frozen, they just don't do enough damage to kill me. So uh, that was not too difficult. Um, but no, it was it was still fun. I got to ride the scorpion, and you can never, uh, and that never really gets old. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you in the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe, and peace out.